In this video, we are going to discuss how to use Google's new Gemini Pro model by using Python. Google recently gave access to its new model, Gemini Pro, to everyone. So here Google has three models, Gemini Ultra, Nano and Pro. And this one is available right now. So today we'll see how we can use it using Python. They have given their own Google Colab notebook. You can follow that as well. I have just simplified that notebook and created my own. Step one, we need to install the Python SDK. So we will just run this line of code to install this. While it is getting installed, we will create the API key, which is a very important thing if you want to use the Gemini Pro model. So if I click on this link, get API key, it will open a window. And if you click on this create API key in new project button, it will create a new API key for yourself. So I have already created, so I will just use it inside a notebook. I will give the link of this in the description as well so that you can create your own API key. Once you created and copied the API key, you just need to click on this secret key button at the left hand side and you just need to paste it here. So I will click on this add new secret key button. I will copy this key name Google underscore API underscore key and I will just paste my key here which I already did and you need to give notebook access as well once you did that. So I will delete this one because I'm using this key here and I will just go back to my notebook. Once the key is set up, I will just run this code which will help us prettify the output. After this, I will just configure my key inside this Gen AI library. So I will run this code as well. And if we want to see our API key is working fine or not, we will just run this code. So this code will list down all the models from Google. So right now this is Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision. So these two models are accessible right now. Now we can start using the model. So we will define the model first model equal to gen AI dot generative model. And here we are defining Gemini Pro. So Gemini Pro is only for text prompts. It will not take any image as an input. So we will see where this gen AI came from. So earlier we have imported this import Google dot generative AI as gen AI. So we are using this gen AI to define the model. Once we define the model, we can ask this model any question like what gives life meaning by using model dot generate content. I will run this code as well. It will give me time as well. How much time it took to generate the response to this question. After this, I will pass the response dot text inside to markdown function, which will give me the output in a more prettified way. So here is the answer to the question. It took around 185 millisecond. Uh, you can see the answer here. And for some reason, API failed to return the result to your question. There might be a possibility that your prompt is not safe and it was blocked due to safety concerns. So if you want to check that, you can run response.promptfeedback. And if we run this code, it will give me if my prompt was safe or not. So category, harm category, sexually explicit, negligible, negligible, hate speech is negligible as well. And harassment is also negligible. Uh, dangerous content is also negligible. So our prompt was safe. We have not asked any unsafe thing to Gemini Pro. So that is why it gave us the answer. If you ask something which falls under any of this category, it will not give you the answer. That is the safety feature Google has inculcated in their model. Now we can ask response.candidates. So basically Google Gemini Pro gives you multiple answer to a one question. So if you ask something, it will give you multiple answer to that question. And those multiple answers are called candidates here. So here for our question, it gave us only one answer. And we can see here content parts. And this is the only one part of the answer which it gave us. So there is only one candidate and it will give you the safety rating as well, which is negligible for all the aspects. If you want the streaming response, you can just pass in the parameter stream equal to true inside model dot generate content and it will give you the streaming output. So now we will see how we can use Gemini Pro Vision. So I have already imported two images, one of Idli and one of Eiffel Tower. These are the two random images. I just asked my wife to give me the name of two random things and she gave me this two. So I'm using these two. Once we have loaded the image, I will just define the model again model gen AI generative model and this time we are using Gemini Pro Vision. So this will take images as well. So once I have defined this, I will define all these images as well once. After this response model generate content and I'm passing image one. So image one here is this idli image. So I will just run this and I will see what this give me. So earlier while I was running it, uh, for some reason it gave me the recipe of idli, which is quite strange. Now this is giving me, this is a South Indian breakfast dish called Idli. It is made from fermented rice and lentils and is usually served with sambar and chutney, which is perfectly 
correct now if you want to pass in image and text both inside a prompt you can do that as well you just need to do model dot generate content so here i am asking this to write a engaging blog post based on this picture and it should include a description of the meal in the photo and here i am passing image one which is the idli image and i am passing one parameter as well stream equal to true and i will just run this and i will run the next cell as well to mark down response dot text so basically this function again which will give me the response in a more prettified way so idli is a popular south indian breakfast dish it gave me the answer like uh, this is a blog post and it gave me everything which i asked for you have never tried idli before i highly recommend it it is a unique and delicious dish uh and is sure to please everyone this is absolutely true now we can pass in two images as well so i wanted to pass idli as well as eiffel tower so this is interesting and you can pass it by using response model dot generate content and i am passing the prompt what is similarity between these two images and this is a very interesting question right and i am passing in idli image and eiffel tower image and i will just run this and let's just wait for the answer so it is giving us the answer the similarity between these images is that they are both images of famous landmarks which is absolutely incorrect idli is not a landmark the first image is of eiffel tower in paris france and the second image is of taj mahal in agra india i'm not sure why this is doing let's just run these images once again i will run this image just to confirm because i think model can be wrong but the model should not be this much wrong so let's just check once again image 2 is also there we have defined the model and now we will pass in these two images with the argument what is the similarity between these two images and let's just see what is the answer okay the first image is of plate of food and the second image is of eiffel tower the similarity between these images is that they are both popular tourist destinations so the eiffel tower is popular tourist destination because it is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world plate of food is a popular tourist destination because it is a traditional indian dish that is not found in many other countries so this answer is not satisfactory at all so this is how gemini pro vision is working right now you can see live here and now we will see how you can do chat conversation as well in gemini pro model so i will just run this so first we need to initiate the chat model equal to gen ai generative model gemini pro so this time we want to use text so that is why we are using gemini pro we are initializing the chat module because it will help us remembering the previous conversations as well so right now i have initialized this inside this chat variable and i will ask it the question in one sentence explain retrieval augmented generation which is basically rag to your young child so i will run this code again and see what this will give us and the answer is imagine a game where you get clues to help you create story each clue helps you make the story better and better this is actually somewhat true uh because this is what the rag is and if we run chat dot history it will give me uh the history of my chat so i have given in one sentence explain this this was my prompt and this was the answer and now you can keep sending messages to continue the conversation use the stream equal to true argument to stream the chat response equal to chat dot send message okay how about a more detailed explanation to a high schooler stream equal to true and let's just run this and we can check the history of complete chat as well so this gave us some answer and if we see this will give me the complete chat history for message in chat dot history display markdown message dot role so here i am just prettifying the output for better readability so user gave this prompt then model give this answer then user gave again this prompt and model gave this answer now we will see how we can configure the model so you can configure the model as well according to your liking you can pass in some parameters so response equal to model dot generate content and here we can pass this parameter generation configuration generation config equal to gen ai dot types dot generation config and here we are passing candidate count equal to 1 stop sequence this is the parameter you can check out the documentation as well to understand in detail about this and also you can give the max output token equal to 20 and temperature equal to 1 so if i run this and i have given this a prompt tell me a story about idli it gave me the output and this output is of 20 tokens maximum output token equal to 20 and this gave us the story about the idli so here is the story so this is how you can use gemini pro model by using python
In future, I am going to make videos about how you can use this model inside Langchain and Llama Index. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much.